So once you've done that, you come over here and you want to push or pull this one. What's over, hold on, what's over there? It's not a health pack, is it? No, that's ammo. We'll go ahead and pick it up anyway. But basically, there's something similar that we need to do on the other side. We need both platforms to, uh, to get past. And sometimes the platforms can get uh, caught up up there, so you want to just kind of be careful. And more or less, if you put them on the light spots, you'll uh, pull this one over to here. They'll be in pretty much the right spot. and we do it all over again for the other side and I think that side is actually supposed to be the easy side so hopefully I don't die as many times I might not need to have pushed that a little farther yeah Come on, Laura, just jump up on there. Look at you acting like a fool, Jeremy. What the hell? Okay. Yeah, that looks... That looks better. Like I said, there's a lot more traps on this side than there was on, or on this uh, level than there have been before. And so far as I can tell, that uh, bar there is there just to screw you up because I don't think you can reach it. You want to go. Across the wall anyway. It might be there to reach something else, or if you fall into the pit, maybe you can get up there from the... I don't know. I, I don't know. But it's unnecessary, so I'm going to go ahead and move right past it like it's not there. Oh, this looks easy. Run right up to it. Whoa! Good thing the Velociraptor wasn't on this side, those wolves would have gotten eaten. Oh, that would have made for a cool scene if you saw a scene of like one of the Velociraptors eating one of the wolves. Because obviously if wolves and Velociraptors live in the same area, the wolves must be what the raptors live off of. Although I could be a complete nerd and argue why the Velociraptors aren't Velociraptors at all and weren't in Jurassic Park either, but I will spare you guys. Just know that it annoys, annoys me that they're referred to as Velociraptors, and it annoys me just as much that they don't have feathers. But basically, you want to kind of climb around this room this way. And if you fall here, it's no big deal, because you're not really that high off of the ground. Just high enough to where you can't... can't get here without the climbing. Over here, drop down. And that is switch number three. We're almost done with this level already.
but now because the floor fell out, you can't reach the door unless you come around this way. There you go, and you just drop down. And you want to be careful here because you could fall right back down if you don't drop down right at the edge. What's this? More ammo that we really don't need right now. Oh, sounds like we got another raptor coming up. Come on, bitch. That's right, you die. Laura just takes out velociraptors like they're freaking nothing. Sounds like... Yeah, now there's a raptor down here if you fall, so you want to be careful with that. You can go down there and fight him if you want. But I'm not gonna, because it's really not necessary. Go ahead and move on to the level. Okay, I guess the traps are quite a bit easier. On that side. So let's go ahead and move on. And we are almost done with this level. I don't know. Yet again, I'm getting the feeling there's going to be something coming up. No, it doesn't look like it. Okay. Super Metroid style, picking up the Skion causes the whole place to start collapsing. Apparently it was a load-bearing artifact, so who saw that coming? But, but we just want to kind of make it back through the beginning of the level, there's a there's a, another Velociraptor down there. If you if you fall, and there's not a time limit here or anything. Whoa, be careful! Yeah, there's not a time limit or anything. So you don't have to worry about that. And as far as I know, the things falling from the ceiling don't actually hit you either. I could be wrong about that, so don't quote me on that. But basically, you just want to make it back to the waterfall. And here we have another little cutscene. I'd love to join you, but I forgot my trunks. Why am I not surprised? You got your job, I got mine. I'll take it from here. I hope Natla sent you here with more than that shotgun. Don't sweat it, kitten. I prefer a more hands-on approach. Only one piece. 
piece of the ski on. Where's the rest of it? Give me a minute. I'm thinking. <laughs> Woohoo! Makes no difference to me. Pierre's probably already found his piece. Pierre Dupont? Where? Now that, I don't know. All right. I'm convinced. <laughs> Damn. You really had me going there. So that is the conclusion of the Peru chapter of Tomb Raider Anniversary. This has been the original Ginger, and join me next time when we head to the to St. Francis's Folly in Greece. Thanks for watching.